welcome to our online service. It is a wonderful opportunity to be in the presence of the Lord. Let us open our Bibles in the book of John chapter number 4. I'm going to read John chapter number 4 and allow me to read verse number 23 and verse number 24. John chapter number 4 verse number 23 and verse number 24 and the Bible reads but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshippers we worship the Father in spirit and the truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is the spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and the truth. Oh, glory be to God. Let us read 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter number 14, verse number 14. 1 Corinthians chapter number 14, verse number 14. And my Bible reads, For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. Okay. Let us open our last scripture from the book of Jude. From the book of Jude. From the book of Jude. Chapter number one. Jude chapter number one. I'm going to be reading verse number 20. I'm going to be reading verse number 20. But you, beloved... Building yourselves up on your most holy faith. Praying in the Holy Spirit. May God Almighty bless the reading of his holy word today. Ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to continue with our series on spiritual growth. Last week I spoke about spiritual growth part one and today we are on part two. In our Christian walk, there is a necessity for spiritual growth. We must keep growing in the word and enhance our fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It is my prayer that everyone who is watching me at this hour, may you enhance your fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Keep growing in the Word. Do you know that it is not enough to be born again? It is not even enough to go to church. But there is so much more in God to enjoy. And how much you will enjoy depends on the spiritual knowledge of God's word that you have. When you read your Bible or when you study the word of God, I want you to know that you acquire spiritual knowledge. You acquire understanding. And that knowledge will transform you for the better. If you are a Christian, if you are a born again believer, Strive to make sure that you will not lack knowledge. You must not lack knowledge. Because the Bible says, study the word. Study the word to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that God's blessings... I will not enjoy you. You only enjoy depending on the knowledge of him that you have in your spirit. The less knowledge you have, the less blessings that will flow through you. 
So make sure you study the word. Make sure you study the word. The Bible in Proverbs chapter 11 verse number 9. I love this portion of scripture. The Bible says through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. So I want you to know that through knowledge you are delivered not just from captivity. You are delivered not just from exile. You are delivered not just from bondage. But you are also delivered into your inheritance. So the Bible says, through knowledge shall the just be delivered. So you need to know that you are delivered not just from limitations, but you are also delivered into your inheritance. You will be amazed with your spiritual growth because of the increase of the knowledge of the word of God that you have in your spirit. When the word in your spirit the more you read the more you study you begin to grow spiritually and you'll be shocked spiritual growth it is unfortunate that some people have been christians for so many years but they haven't grown spiritually Mungano kuzonda ne 20 years ni china mat. Mungano kuzonda ne 25 years ni china mat. Na ne 15 years ni china mat. And they go church. But it's not what it's a. Neche kutivane makora kawanda wachia ku church. But you katarisa upenyu wawo pangweya. Uchawona utivane givasina kukora pangweya. So they haven't grown spiritually. The sad part is that some are not even aware of the necessity of spiritual growth. They are not even aware. The spiritual growth. The Bible in 1 Peter chapter number 2 says, As newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word so that you may grow thereby. So it is God's desire for you. He wants you to grow in fellowship with Him. He wants you to grow in the things of the Spirit. He wants you to be tossed. He doesn't want you to be tossed to and fro. By every wind of doctrine. He wants you to be stable. He wants you to be mature. He wants you to be established in faith. And that can only be achieved by the knowledge of the word of God. No wonder why the Bible is saying in Peter. Desire the sincere milk of the word of God. As newborn babies. So that you may grow thereby. I want you to know that spiritual growth. Is like the growth of a newborn baby. That is to go through several stages before coming to adulthood. Mwanaka jarwa, kana chikura, growth ichiti kapa upenyo waki, anu tanga nuku gwesha, apeza kugwesha, utanga kukamba ira, utanga kufamba, utanga kutaura, utanga kumanya. In all these phases, growth is progressive. So it is the same thing spiritually. When you grow spiritually, I want you to know that you will take charge over your life. When you take charge over your life, you don't need anyone to deal with the devil for you. You are able to put him where he belongs by exercising your dominion in Christ. And that's how it is supposed to be. Where are do not desire more of God. Desire more of his word. For the word of God is life. And the word is spirit. Feeding on the word. Is the only means. You can grow spiritually. Make sure. That you are going to feed. On the word of God. You can't grow spiritually. Without the word of God. The Lord who says. Church is not enough. But you need to study the word. You need to feed on the word. Because it is the only means. God wants you to grow spiritually. Because you are a spirit. Because you are a spirit. 
but you graduate you end up at next level you open your heart so god wants you to grow spiritually because you're a spirit you are not a physical being you are not a physical person but you are a spirit in a body you need to know that you are a spirit in a body having a soul so you are a spiritual being you are a spiritual person so god wants you to grow spiritually but this growth comes through the word of god it comes through the word of god which builds you up and delivers you to your inheritance in christ in jesus it is only the word of god that can build you up it is only the word of god that can deliver you to your inheritance in christ you can only grow according to the level of knowledge of the word that you have you can only grow according to the level of knowledge that you have that you have if you read hebrews chapter 5 verse number 12 the bible says by now by now so the writer of the book of hebrews argued by now you ought to be teaching others zandiri kukupari dzirash ungadai uriwe uri kudzidzisa vamwe ungadai uriwe uri iwe uri kuteacher vamwe maybe your family members ungadai uriwe uri kuteacher your loved ones ungadai uriwe uri kudzidzisa your workmates your classmates now the right of the book of Hebrews is saying by now you ought to be teaching others but instead you need someone to teach you again the basic things which are the elementary truths of God's word and according to you are like babies who need milk katalaka you are like babies who need milk and cannot eat strong meat another version says solid food so you are like babies who need milk and cannot eat solid food there was a time in the past when you lived on milk as a child but you grew to a stage when you had to stop relying on milk for growth and you started depending on solid food Nikataropa nyo wako nas urukujika solid food hauchangwa mukaka why na une a level of adulthood ya washika so the right of the book of Hebrews are going to by now you ought to be teaching others ungadai uchidzidzisa vamwe but hausikukura mumweya uri kuramba uri a baby in Christ uri kuramba uchifida on milk instead of feeding on solid food anyway but here you know wa kujika mabonzo wa kujika nyama wa kujika solid food chikonzero wa kura wa pane mwe level of adulthood hauramba uchimwa mukaka so here the writer of the book of Hebrews I go to by now you ought to be teaching others but it's not what we continue to teach you basic things so and with the spiritual growth according to the word of God these are basic things by now ungade wa kuziva ungade uchidzidzisa vamwe but uri kuramba kukura uri kuramba kuchimwa mukhaka Peter had a desire the sincere milk of the word of God so you may grow thereby so it's necessary for you to feed on milk so that you can grow but remember growth is progressive usarambo chimwa mukaka but end up a level yekuti unenge wakujikoma mabonzo that's how it is with the word of God you start with the sincere milk or you start with the simple truth of the word but you don't remain there you progress to the strong meat of the word here is my prayer in the name of our lord jesus christ that may you progress in life may you progress in your spiritual life so anga uri nezuro regetsa kuramba uri papo naramba life yekuti unenge uri spiritually stagnant no but may you progress in life if a level ye mukaka we end up a level ye kujika solid foot mukaka una kushata the Peter are going to desire the sincere milk of the word of God so that you may grow thereby. So mukaka waka kosha, you grow ne kunga mukaka. But graduate we end up a level yekuti hauchangwa mukaka. Wakujikawo solid foot. Wakujikawo solid foot. It is my prayer as a man of God. It is my wish as a man of God. Kuri pa wari kunzwa shoko iri. Kura mumweya. Kura mumweya. Kura mumweya. Takuda church. 
ine watendi waka kuda mungweya. Takuda church ine wa kristo. Aka kuda mungweya. Takuda church ine wani wa strong spiritually. If you read the Bible in the book of Hebrews chapter 5 verse 18. The Bible says anyone who lives on milk is still a baby. And is unskilled in the word of righteousness. Don't continue living on milk. Because when you continue living on milk, it means you are still a baby and you are unskilled in the word of righteousness. So they are unskilled in the word of righteousness. But solid food is for the mature. Who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. No, she not about her barrel. Solid food is for the mature. Solid food is for the mature. She can level. You go to mukaka, but you have solid food for the mature. God wants you to become a mature Christian. He wants you to become a mature believer. He wants you to grow so that you can teach others. You can teach others. It is my prayer. That you graduate from being a baby to an adult. As I'm ministering to you right now, there is impartation of the spirit that is taking place. Right now, from becoming from being a baby to becoming an adult. I pray that you graduate from milk to solid food. Graduate from milk to strong meat. It is my prayer. It is my prayer. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 14 says, Solid food is for those who are mature. For those who are mature, aim to become mature in Christ. Strive to become mature in Christ. Strong meat is for those who are mature. Those who are full of age. Who through training have their spiritual senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Strong food is for the mature. It is for those who are full of age. Those who have come to maturity in Christ. Mature in Christ. It is my prayer that you mature in Christ. Because when you talk of true spiritual growth, ladies and gentlemen, it is allowing yourself to be trained by the word of God. Spiritual growth is a good thing. It 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 is a good thing. Men shall live by bread alone. Men cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. But Until and unless the word of God is what everyone in church wants and looks forward to, then there will be growth. Munukana chia ku church. Attention yaki. Focus yaki. Ndaye ndeku shokura mwani. Nekude shoko ndori mno kukudza. Build your life on the word and you will grow. Ndiro shokura da piwa na mwari zora na skutu niku siwisa. Kudi build your life on the word and you will grow. You will make progress. In life, you will multiply, you will increase, your territory will be enlarged because you are building your life on the word. Don't build your life on anything else, but build it on the word of God. Jina danger. Kuramba uri a baby in Christ. Because to remain a baby spiritually is to cheat oneself. And you will not enjoy God's best. So, wakaramba uri mutiki pangweya. You are cheating yourself. You are deceiving yourself. And you will not enjoy God's best for your life. Tineman, vanema kore vachina mata. But until now, they are not enjoying God's best for their lives. In Galatians chapter 4, the Bible says, As long as the heir is a child, he is not different from a slave. Though he owns the whole estate. You can imagine. As long as the heir is a baby. He is not different from a servant. Though he is the owner of everything. Ulo ziva yere kuti mabereke wako. 
Kuyange baka kusira East Eight, baka kusira Naka. As long as you are shika paligo e jema shurit. Kuyange shiri ja akwa shis aogo nogo shishandisa. Uya aogo nogo shi akwaya. Because pane zera raungo tarisi na mushika nem temo. So the writer of the book of Galatians and over Paul, as long as mujikiwe na haka shiri mwana, ano rama life yaka fana na nemu randa. Nikatara life yako today. Urugula rama upenyu unonzuisa tisi. Yet, uru mujikiwe na haka. Nekuda kwa jeso, haka tifida pa mchinji kwa. Uru mujikiwe na haka. Une estate ya waka sirwa. Une na haka ya waka piwa. Ja uli suppose kuhinjoya But life yako Yaka fana na neye muranda Yaka fana na neye slave Tika misa ye slave up Tika misa iwewe up Life yeyu zaka fana na Apana chasiana Chikon zero Shokorata urapachena Rakat as long as you are a child Waka fana na ne muranda Upeyo wako ulun zuisa tsitsi Tika tarila life yako today Shinora tiza kuti jesu haka kufira chi Shinora tiza kuti jesu haka muka muakafa nukuna kwa kochi Shinora ya murika chi Life yako ni muranda inoksiana Neva ye dina inoksiana Banyi yetu pano fani lakunge pano msiano Ndo chikon zero jesu haka kufira pa mchinji kwa Kuti life yako Iwe ya kasiana neva ye dini But as long as mujikiwe na haka chini mwana Ha, gwone kwa inyerita estate. So, tilewan, vane naka ya vaka piwa na jesu. Bani, chini kusaka, usava en inyerita we naka iya. Chikonzo, chikonzo, you are still a baby. You are still a child. No wonder why I'm saying grow spiritually. Grow from becoming a baby to becoming an adult. When you become an adult, wale mujiki we naka. Because you are the owner of everything. Nika ino na kuzara kwa yu waka piwa na mwari. Une dominion ya waka piwa Une authority ya waka piwa Une jesu ya waka piwa But kutu ugone kuinjoya Unafani na kunge wakura Wakarati hata urapache Akati as long uchiri mwana chate Aya katala bahaya As long uchiri mwana Uchiri mwana Unora la malife ya kafana na nye varanda As long uchiri mwana Vaye deni wa noro wara Iwo noro wara Vaye deni wano choboka, iwano choboka Hapana musiano Nukutu uchiri mwana Uchiri mwana Uchiri mwana Iyo jino baba wako na mai wako Vaka nzewafa, vaka siya vanyora wiu Kulichakati ndi chako Vaka nusia kwa master of high court As long usati wa shika 18 years Kunya nge jirisha wako wa upiwe Ulozo jipiwa anti wa shika 18 years Kule nabuti nengika cha iyo Iliku mire watu utange wa machua Watu modenga Sa una jinu, shongade waka pi wakare nedenga Patiraka kunyima nukutu uchiri mwana Uchiri mwana Kula jinu, shongutu waka pi wakare kukwa zisa Mwana mudiki waka mpa banga Ano kuna ushikwa za ne banga Saka denga lino zera uti nika kupa marine zera rakwe Unoshikwa za Saka lino kumirira kutitanga wa machua Muna Kristo Jesu It is my prayer Kutiwe sari kundinzwa Ndiri kuti nga kure Nga kure You are the owner of everything. You own the whole estate. But it's not just about how you cook or how you eat. So according to Galatians, it means that the one who is spiritually immature cannot walk in his inheritance. This is the reason why you are suffering. This is the reason why you are struggling. This is the reason why you are crying. You are in depression. You are full of stress. Why? Because you are still immature. As long as you are still a child, you cannot exercise your rights. You cannot exercise your privileges in Christ Jesus. So keep growing by the word. The word will make you grow. And when you grow, you shall have an amazing life and enjoy the glory of the new covenant. I want you to know that there is the glory of the new covenant. But for you to enjoy the glory of the new covenant, you need to grow spiritually. I love Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse number 23. The Bible says the Lord brought you out. He brought you out. The Lord brought you out. That's Deuteronomy chapter 6. So that he can bring you in into inheritance. So the Lord brought you out so that he can bring you in. He brought you out so that he can bring you in.
You are already in your inheritance. He brought us out to bring us in. He brought you out to bring you in. So, one of two issues. Number one, he brought you out. Number two, in order to bring you in. Number one, he brought you out. Number two, in order to bring you in. So, there is a purpose why he brought you out. The purpose was to bring you in. The purpose was to bring you in. Ulojiziwa yere kutitineran. Vano concentrator. Nogu viswa. Kurima. Instead, you go to concentrate on Naka. Ndacha saka viswa Egypt. Kwitira kutuisu mu Kenan. Shasaka jesu ago visa kurima. Kwitira kutuende mu Chiedza. So chire geza kurarama life. You can focus on the visa kurima. Nyamba waka viswa kari. But she and I'm shared some more. Regards, I could have focus on Egypt. You walk a visa, but the focus on me. You can't even know the future. You can't even know the Kenan. You know the Kenan. So Jesus, by asking you to come, he brought you out, so that he can bring you in. So choice is yours to choose what you want. Whether you want to focus on your inheritance or you want to focus on your inheritance. But if you are a man, you will focus on your inheritance. You will focus on your inheritance out of bondage. You will focus on your inheritance out of captivity. But if you are mature in Christ, you no longer focus on coming out of bondage. But you focus on about walking in your inheritance. So, Galamuri mu church, tine mando mbiri za makristi. Tine makristi wa notari la mkuburi suwa. Peta makristi wa notari la mkuburi suwa munaka. Bari kala uchiri mwanana mshini jamari. If you are still a baby, if you are still feeding on milk, you need deliverance. Deliverance out of bondage. Deliverance out of witchcraft. Deliverance out of generational cases. Deliverance out of oppression. Deliverance out of the kingdom of darkness. But if you are mature in Christ Jesus, Unungwaku Zoti brought you in into your inheritance. I need to deliver into my inheritance, not out of bondage. Murugure Rey Pastor, Nirikut Idevo Dick. Kudaku Zingwa Demoni. Idevo Dick. But there is a greater level. Yoguti Kanawashika Mayiri. Kanawashika Mayiri. That greater level. Kana washi kama yiri. Uruguta kuna mwe yawe tsina. Usha gara mandiri. So my level. My viraka siya na iwa yae. So kuna level dik. Yoguta kutisingwa mwe yawe tsina. But kuna mwe level yiri nani. Yoguta kuna mwe yawe tsina. Uno gara mandiri. Nukuti mwe yiri wangu. Itemberi. Ya mwe yawe tsine. Oh glory be to God. He brought me into my inheritance. He brought me. Into my inheritance. Now in John chapter number 4, you know what the main text? Allow me to explain it by the Spirit of God. We all know the story. In John chapter number 4, Jesus up in Amogutare Samaria. Ndogu nda patisimera Jacobo. Ndogu nda ita duma duma ne mukazi we Samaria kangari mo shakaitika nde shakaitika. But you can yet so tarry sister John chapter number four. Jesus He introduced us to the art of true worship. In other words, he introduced a teaching on the art of true worship. The Bible says, as you tell them cards with Samaria, I know the hour is coming and is now come. <laughs> Take note. Just I got the hour is coming. Futuristic. The hour is coming. I will tell the future. And there is now come. I will tell the present. <laughs> so the hour is coming. And there is now come. When the true worshippers. Ah, we worship the father in spirit and in truth. We will tell you that the true worshippers. All of us we can be worshippers. But it doesn't matter. Or it doesn't mean. That we are true worshippers. So the Bible says the hour is coming and is now come. When the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. As a born again believer. As a child of God. 
You are called to worship God in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. As a child of God, as a Christian, you are called to worship God in spirit and in truth. We are all called to worship God, but there is a condition. And that condition is we are supposed to worship God in spirit and in truth. I see you to go to Zamari, but you are not going to go to I love Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. When you are going to go to don't let anyone take you captive through empty and deceptive philosophies. Who's attended anyone to take you captive through empty and deceptive philosophy, which depends on the tradition of men and not according to Christ. When we worship, we worship in truth. We don't worship according to the tradition of men. Instead, we focus on the message and the truth of Jesus Christ. Do you know what you can learn with us? We could call our room with Zamari. Vani my philosophies are. Vani my traditions are. Vani Javaka Batiri Rapajiri Kalavachina Matamari. But if a corosa argue, do not let anyone take you captive through the traditions of men. So instead, Kalawakurum Bizamari, make a sure that you focus on the message of Jesus Christ. You focus on the truth of Jesus Christ. In order to worship in the truth, you must know the truth. You must know the truth. In order to worship in truth, you must know the truth, and the truth is only found in the Bible. Except in the Holy Bible. Except in the Holy Bible. Manumunamata. Manumunamata mumweya. Numushokwadi. Jokwadi, are you one you queen and you waste? But you know, one you come with shoko, Ramar Mushoko, Ramar. I could not show much shokwadi shawana anywhere else except Mushoko Ramar. No wonder why in Roma chapter 12, actually, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good. And acceptable and the perfect will of God. In other words, don't copy the behavior and the customs of this world, but allow God to transform you by changing the way you think. Allow God to transform you. You must continually renew your mind to the word of God by spending more time studying the word. By so doing, you'll be able to worship him in spirit and in truth. So according to John chapter 4, God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Remember, God is spirit. You are also a spirit. So you must worship him in spirit and in truth. To worship God in spirit, you must have the Holy Ghost. You must have the Holy Spirit. Because only the Holy Spirit can enable you to worship God in spirit. You can't worship God in spirit without the Holy Ghost. You can't. You can't. So allow yourself to be anointed by the Holy Ghost. Allow the infilling of the Holy Spirit. But it just was at our statement here. Kumukads West Samaria. In several different ways for many years. Now, if you read the Bible in the OT, in the Old Testament, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, So, So, but Jesus was in the Samaria. But Simeon and Jacob. Asangara ni mkazuya. Ayewechi fewe. 
Mkazi huyu anaota ana kuna Jesu. Anaota mazibaba edu worshiped on this mountain. But in my Judah you claim that the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Ulikuwa baka tangira nyaya. Mazibaba edu aina matira mugomorinori, mugomorinori. So in other words mkazi huyu arikuti china macho cha tino ziva ndeche gomorinori. Shataka ona kuva ku mazibaba edu. No mavai na matira but ni ma Judah ndi ma kurasika na muno claim muno claim kuchina matochecho kwa dichino na matira mu Jerusalem remember Jesus is a Jew mukazu she is a Samaritan and ma Judah ne ma Samaria vai sajikidzana there was a limit so mukazu ari ku confront Jesus ari kuti ni ma Judah muno tichina matochecho kwa di kuna mata mu Jerusalem but isu chati no ziva, mazibaba edu, aina matira mugomorino. Ele pava ina matira mugomorino, waka sangana na mwari. Saka nesio, tika na matira mugomorino, tika sangana na mwari. But jeso, ajipinyo la mukazu, alo ti nyaya, ayisi siri ya gomo. Uye nyaya, ayisi siri ya mujerusalem. But the hour is coming, and has now come, when the true worshippers, we worship the father, in spirit and in truth the true worshipers eh katalaka uri kuona rezi kutora na jesu eh munogona kuna matira mugomo munogona kuna matira mu jerusalem but the hour is coming and is now come yekuti my true worshipers you are saying that are you a worshiper or a true worshiper but jesu akati pa cv they are true worshippers. I want to my true worshippers. The time has come. Have I not made them go more in order? Have I not made them go more in order? We have I not made them go Jerusalem. But if I don't make them go more in order, I'm not sure what the true worshippers. The true worshippers. The true worshippers worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Saka Jesu ali kuintroducer a new order of worship. <laughs> so pari kuintroducer a new order of worship. Zira kutipane the old order of worship. Old order nde ipi. Ndiye kuna matila mjerusalem. Ndiye kuna matila mumakomo. Ndiye kuwa kama altars. Saka pari kuintroducer the new order of worship. Ali kuabolisha the old pattern of mountains and altars. Kulewa kuti iya jino mwaka watiri You cannot worship God with the physical things As they did in the Old Testament Waka wala uchibatiri ila pa jini jini physical That is not a true worship Because the true worship is to be by the Spirit Ndo shakata ula jesu In the New Testament Hakuna jino zima altars Though the principle might be the same. According to John chapter 4, we have received a new revelation on worship. A true worshiper worships God in spirit and in truth. A true worshiper worships God in spirit and in truth. A true worshiper worships God in spirit and in truth where sir going to honor right now near kundin swa may you become a true worshiper may you become a true worshiper may you become a true worshiper and worship god in spirit and in truth jesus are good true worshiper not only but this is this is not so many and the person I'm worried just are good true worshipers worship God a true worshiper worships God a true worshiper worships God could ever go to true worshipers worship God and not men true worshipers Worship God and not angels. It is said 
kuti kune vakoma zwanu unaona machina mata vakabata foto ya Jesu Vamwe vano na mata vakabata foto yemunhu wanwari vachitenda kuti as long ndabata foto ya Jesu zvangu zvaita Munhu achitenda kuti as long ndabata foto yemunhu wanwari zvangu zvaita But Jesus are kuti true worshipers worship God worship God vano na mata mwari not angels not human beings It is also said kuti this generation Kuno tori ne mangwe machesha akuisa more emphasis pa vanhu vanwari instead yo kuisa emphasis pa na Jesus I want you to know that Jesus is the head of the church and I'm only a steward I'm only a vessel My assignment as a man of God kukunongedzera kuna Jesus not kwandiri We worship God and not pastors Jesus are good true worshipers shall worship God Kana wao ya kuchurch focus yako nokutenda kwako ngakuende pana Jesu The Bible is saying they that worship God <laughs> not they that worship pastors not they that worship physical things not they that worship physical things no but true worshipers we worship God in spirit and in truth for the father seeketh such to worship him baba vari kutsvaka vakadaro vanona matangwari mumwe ane musho uri kuzoti denga so kana rakatarira panyika riri kuona vanhu vachina matanzira dzakasiyana siyana nemafumira dzakasiyana siyana nyamba jesus ari kuti moyo wa baba uri kushuira oro baba vari kutsvaka avo vanova namata mumwe ya nemusho kwadi god is a spirit So if you are going to worship him you have to do it from your spirit you have to do so from your spirit God is word is truth so when it says to worship in spirit and in truth it means worshiping God by the power of the holy spirit according to his word you have to worship God in accordance with his word the father seeketh such to worship him You can't serve God with your brain or ideas. You can't serve him with your senses. He expects you to live and serve him from your spirit. Romans chapter 1 verse number 9 the Bible says, "For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit." You serve God with your spirit. Because your spirit is where God lives. God does not reside in your body. He does not reside in your physical body, but he resides in your spirit. So serve him with your spirit. But I read in the Corinthians chapter 14. Paul ati if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays. So when you pray in tongues, It is your spirit that is praying. You are communing with the Lord from your spirit. When you speak in tongues, nobody understands you and you don't even understand yourself. Because it is the Holy Spirit that gives you that spiritual language. Remember on the day of Pentecost when the disciples received the Holy Ghost, they were enabled to speak in another tongues. They were given that spiritual language through the Holy Spirit. So when you receive the Holy Spirit you also have this spiritual language no one can teach you it is the spirit that makes that deposit within your spirit the bible says in Jude but I will but you beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy spirit so if you want to build yourself up if you want the spiritual growth Jude are going to pray in the holy spirit pray in the holy spirit jude chapter 1 verse 20 but you beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy spirit pray in the holy spirit kana wave kuda kukura mumweya pray in the holy spirit those are our jude pray in the holy spirit pray in tongues 
is the kind of praying that improves you. It causes you to be built up from within and gets you charged with the divine power. She can't zero why a lot of Christians are not growing spiritually as they should is that they pray more with their understanding. They pray more from their natural minds than they pray with the spirit. You can't grow effectively as a Christian that way. Praying with the spirit is praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praying with the spirit is more important than all the most intelligent words you could ever utter to God. Do you not know what you could have done? You could have but you know, Shandi saw you vocabulary. You go to Kamunzo, I chin a matter. And the Gachin a matter, the Mamma, my words are no shammy cigar in the Nika inoy. Kutumari, Murichaman gingingi ang. Wari Murisim, be noch Gazima Simba. Murisim, be noch Gazima Simbi. Murichangura Angura, where good the chain. And the Gachitara in your vocabulary. And the Gachitara in your shona yakazama. But I want you to know that the praying with the spirit is more important. Than all the most intelligent words. Than all anachangura angura. No. No. As long as we are training, you have the ability to speak in other tongues. You can even sing in other tongues. And that's the way to worship God in spirit. Praying with your spirit. It lights up your spirit. And opens up your spirit. To hear. And to receive from God. So I'm here to encourage you today to pray in the Spirit. To pray in the Spirit. To pray in the Spirit. And that you that are like praying in the Holy Spirit, you'll be building yourself up. So but in the spiritual growth, you need the Word. Feed on the Word. Meditate on the Word. And also pray in the Spirit. Pray in the Spirit. I want to encourage you today. There is nothing wrong there is nothing wrong but pray but matter try to use the language of the spirit try to use the language of the spirit pray in the spirit when you pray in the spirit you are building up yourself on your most holy faith if I pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prays. God is a spirit. You are also a spirit. And the true worshippers must worship God in spirit and in truth. So when I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays. So I'm encouraging you to pray in tongues. I'm encouraging you to pray more in tongues. And you'll be amazed. Nema breakthroughs. I will tell you witness some open your work. Your spiritual eyes will be opened. Your spiritual ears will be opened. You will be able to receive from God. Kunyange hope za uno rota zino shanduka. Mutanga kurota jineitika. Mwarevano tanga kutaura niwe. Because you are now more spiritual. Mupenyu wako wese. I want you to know that you are spiritual. So narama is spiritual life. Aim to have spiritual growth. Nilo shoko na datungo na mwari mangu wana ni Kondi govera ni mewe. Kutikana wale kuda kukura mwenea. Desire, desire the sincere milk of the word of God. Those are Tower Peter. Desire, desire the sincere milk of the word of God. But my Eberu, at Chire Geza Kuramba, Waka Batira Pamukaka, but Chikurao, Chikurao, Chiva Pababu, Uchitanga Kufamba Wega na Makumbo, Chikurao, Uchitanga Kujika solid food. Uchitanga kujika mabonzo. Muna mato wangu zivara na asikuti. We sari kundi wana pa live broadcast ino. Iva pa levu yeku yama mkaka. Wende pa levu yeku jika mabonzo. Wende pa levu yeku jika nyama. Uchao na mwari jwa wacha kuitira. Mwari mwari kutusaka wana. Weguti wacha rarama. A spiritual life. Vakura pa mwere. Mwari mwari kutusaka. The mature in Christ. Hatichada ma kristo nenge puere pa mberi pa mwari no. But be an adult. Be mature. As long as you are a child. Kunyange nakaire yako. Unora rama upenyo we muranda. Bandino tenda kutine service ino. As I'm about to conclude and close. I want you to take your family with you. And I want you to pray together. 
I want you to pray together. There is power in praying together as a family. corporate anointing. Paninga pani a prayer of agreement. Chogorori chama sunga pano pas. Nekutenga chasunga. Pamushana mata. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you into prayer. Pamushana mata pray in tongues. Pray from your spirit. Pray from your spirit. Dinugu jinza uti pani impartation ya itika. Pani wanda pindura zowara nasa angani nzara. Yuku kura mungia. Nirugu jitenda kutipane generation ya raise wanawari kutichuo pareta in a higher dimension. Usha gona ku exercise your authority. Usha gona ku exercise your rights in Christ Jesus. Usha possess your position in Christ. He has brought you out in order to bring you in. So walk in your inheritance. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Build up yourself on your most holy faith. You are no longer a child, but you are now an adult in Christ Jesus. You are now mature in Christ Jesus. Enjoy God's best. Chase chakazi nechako receive today. Receive today. Receive today. Pane shawari kugamu chizwa right now. Pane shawari kugamu chizwa right now. Vachaku ona. Vacha ziva kuti wa ina adult in Christ Jesus. Vacha ziva kuti you are now mature. In Christ Jesus. And allow God to lead you. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. For those who are led by the Spirit of God. Are the sons of God. And the Greek word is yours. Are the yours of God. The mature the sons of God. We are in the new covenant. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you. When you pray. Allow the Holy Ghost to lead you. But I pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. I pray for you today. In blessing, may God bless you. In increase, may God increase you. In enlargement, may God enlarge you. In fruitfulness, may God make you fruitful. May you grow to become an adult in Christ Jesus. Exercise your authority. Exercise your rights, your privilege in Christ. Uchao na mwari shaba chaku itira. Pese pa usha famba. Famba with this consciousness. Kut I am a matured son of God. I am a matured daughter of God. I am no longer a baby. I am no longer a child. I no longer feeds pam kaka. But I feed on solid food. Declare uti life yam. Ichange yaka siyana ne muranda. Nekuti ndakura, nda amachua. I am full of edge. Isteti yosia baba wangu wale kudenga nda ipiwa. Nyika neku zara kwayo. Nde ya mwari. Jaka kora she nyika ino nde ya mwari. Jese ishu wakapiwa. Patima koro koto. Atichara rama ne mukaka. Taku jika mabonzo. Makoro koto. Aushara rama ne mukaka. Waku jika solid food. Makoro koto. You are no longer a child. But you are now an adult. I bless you today. May God increase you. I love you all in Jesus' name. Thank you.